YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. Today we're gonna to be talking about sub terra monsters because we need to understand and know why we don't see this deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links ranked PvP much anymore. We need to understand you know, what happened to their KLG rank up, what happened to their potential in Duel Links and maybe some ways to bring this deck back from the brink. So if you like these types of videos, my boys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It definitely helps me and my channel out and let's just jump right into it. So Subterra Final Battle is one of the power, most powerful trap cards that we do have in Duel Links because it has the ability to set itself back face down, has three effects, but the whole thing about this card is that it can only be used with the sub terra monsters But the thing about this card is it only needs to really be used once because once you activate the effect to boost the attack by its own defense Most of these cards can swing in for game in and of itself um, So that makes this one of the most powerful cards that you can play in Duel Links right now And also one of the most powerful cards you can play in this deck but also I would say the reason why this deck is so strong is the same reason why this deck has become so weak. Um, within our current meta, it has become extremely popular to run Cosmic Cyclone at three. Um, and a lot of other duelists are running this in many decks um, within their psychic decks using Cosmic Enlightenment, but also within their Invoke decks with uh, Sorcery Conduit. And, um, Playing against an Invoke deck with this deck, especially an Element Saber variant, um, this deck is very strong against this deck for one huge reason, and it's because this deck gives the Invocation spell nothing. Um, because we're using my monster cards, it allows us to have you know, six low level monsters in the deck, have a good chance of opening with one, and typically with my monster cards I've seen in this deck, that you will always open up with at least one of these, some big sub terra monster and maybe two back row. And two back row in one of those two is Kanadia or Treacherous or um, sub terra final battle and Kanadia. That's a pretty good opening hand for this kind of deck. This deck is made to kind of turtle a little bit. You build up a board and ask your opponent, can they crack it? And if the answer is no, you win basically. So. I would say that the main reason why this deck has been suffering is due to Cosmic Cyclone and easy back row removal. But the way that I've been able to get around it is by using um, pretty much chainable back row and not relying so much on uh, sub terra final battle. I've also found that running two treacherous trap holes in this deck with my monster cards does allow me to open up with this card many times on the first turn and this deck turp typically um, doesn't go beyond turn five. If it does, um, I very rarely pick up the second treacherous trap hole that I play in this deck. So my personal opinion, I think it really fell out of favor because a lot of folks was using three of these and also with the amount of uh, floodgates and other cards that are played in this, in this current meta, it makes it sometimes tough to get this effect going. Uh, even though this is effect is a quick effect, but there's a lot of times where this card could be summoned at the end of the turn or summoned as a result of its own effect. And it's been able to be manipulated or placed face down by cards like Floodgate or Paleozoic Kanadia. So I really feel like the end of the day, this deck is very strong. It has the potential to climb up the ladder and can actually defeat the current meta of invoked but its main rival or the main problem would be the dark lords because they can run cards like sanctified dark lord which will pretty much shut down the entire deck because it can stop that first monster from setting itself or it can stop a key critical effect from going off um preventing you from making a comeback Dark Lords are very strong where it comes to setting up the board. So in order for this deck to win, you would kind of have to go first. And sometimes you just aren't that lucky. But I've been enjoying playing this deck as I've been thinking about it and just doing my research on this deck. So I would definitely say my boys, enjoy the rest of this video. 
um, enjoy the clips of the deck following this. And if you'd like to see any more discussions like this, please feel free to leave a question or comment below after what deck you'd like to see. And as always, my boys, keep it dank.